Dean. Um, I'm sure there's a lot to be said about Dean. Um, I never saw Dean. I didn't play golf, so that eliminated a lot of guys I've known. I still know. Um, I had stopped drinking years ago, and of course Dean had gone on to put some salsa away. But to work with him was a true delight. You, it was one of the few shows that I could do, um, my improvisation. In other words, I remember distinctly have a picture of the two of us. It was a shell of an aircraft. And I sat down beside him. He was up against the bulkhead. <coughs> And I said, Mr. Martin, I was in character, I said, Mr. Martin, I'm a Manfred Killinger. You don't know me. I'm with American Tool and Die. I'm on my way to Denver, and then I'm going on to the West Coast and try to sell some tools out there. You are Dean Martin, aren't you? You know, my wife loves you. She just thinks it. And when you do the Italian stuff, she don't speak Italian. She's from Hungary. <laughs> Not hunger, but hungry. And uh, she's a Hungarian person. And she loves you. And she said uh, to get your autograph, would you consider, you know, just, do you have any paper on you or pencil? You're an attractive man. And I'm not making a pass at you. You know, I was in a war. I don't find time for that. But he would just go in with him. He knew you were going. And there was always that element of surprise. What was he going to say or do? My wife's an air cargo. I couldn't afford uh, business class for her, too. But she's a Christian scientist, and she can hold her breath from here to L.A. She's in there with animals. God, my cats and dogs. And but she's a, she's a thin woman, and she was, she's in a little box, you know. But she can breathe. I put some food in there for her. Live over a sandwich. And he would go. He would go. Oh, God. I wonder where you've been up to. <laughs>